Welcome back to this channel. Watch to the end for channel shout out. So I am thinking that we should go to the orphanage home this year. Although there are two to three orphanage homes that we can go, but I think we should set up a committee to look into which one we should go, not only that, the committee will come up with suggestions on what they will present to the orphanage and the children there, another thing I want us to take note of is, if we are going to cook or not, and if we are cooking, then what are we cooking? Definitely we will be cooking rice and the elders will eat swallow food. I think that should be for the committee to decide. Excuse me, I thought the orphanage home is for the motherless babies. When has it become a home for the elders? Please I think you need to come out clearly. I don't really understand what you are driving at. What I am saying is that, why are we cooking rice for the children and cooking swallow for the elderly? Don't forget that the money we are going to spend is coming out from people's pocket. I understand you now. First of all let's set up a committee. Then the committee should come up with a budget. Then we will know how much we are going to spend, whether we are going to reduce it or increase it, or we are going to outrightly cancel it. Alright sir, who and who should be the members of the committee? That should come under AOB sir. Last year when we visited people at the prison, we know how much we spent, now we are talking about rice and swallow. Nobody is talking about swallow, I only answered the questions pastor asked. Please what year did we do the borehole for the committee? Was it not five years ago? Five years ago? Yes sir. Don't forget the money we spent on entertainment, I mean feeding was far more greater than the money we spent on sinking the borehole. What are you trying to say? That I spent your money on personal proposes or what? I don't know, but I'm saying what is obvious from the report of the secretary isn't it so blessing. And what is obvious? The prudence was ignored. Which prudence are you talking about? Was budget not presented and approved for the entertainment? May God forgive you sir. Please, I think the argument is necessary. Because we still don't know how much it will cost us yet, are we still going to the orphanage or not? There's nothing we will do that will not cost us money. If we can't spend our money for God, I wonder who else we will spend it on. We will spend it on our family, all of us have responsibilities at home, we will spend it on our family, is that not so? It is okay, God will help all of us. Amen sir. One thing I want us to know is this, we should not be weary of doing good, for in due season we shall reap, if we faint not. In my opinion sir, going to the orphanage and visiting the prison are both good, at least, they both will give the church good names. But on the contrary sir, I think there are other profitable things that we can do with little or no money. Like what and what if I may ask. For instance sir, it has been a while we have an open-air crusade in this church. About that sir, I believe the youth of this church had a praise and drama concert sometimes last year, I think last year December. Oh my god, that's good, it was good but it wasn't an evangelical crusade, sir, we need to revisit evangelism in this church. And we need to take it very seriously, because to me, God rewards soul winners than givers of food and renders of clothes. Or water and swallow. You want me to say something and I will not say anything. Sir coincidentally, the Lord has been speaking to me about an open air crusade. Really? Yes sir. Now that the issue of crusade has come up, are we in support of the crusade? Crusade is better sir. Crusade is better, sir. Crusade is better sir. Evangelist Chris, please help us pray, seek the face of God, get his mind on where we will hold the crusade and when. All right, sir. I will do that, sir. Good. Secretary Clara. Yes, sir. What is the next thing on the agenda? AOB, sir. AOB. That is good. Yes, I can hear you. I am in the church right now. Call me back between 12 and 1 p.m. I should be through by then. Good afternoon, sir. Sister Tanya. How are you this morning? I am fine, sir. You look good. Thank you, sir, and you look good too. I feel strongly within my spirit that the prophecy pastor gave during the meeting this morning is actually meant for you. Well, I heard him too sir, I just connected. Thank God, the Lord will help you. Amen. But, my elder, my pastor, sorry, I want to talk to Sister Tanya. Go ahead. Sister Tanya, I felt strongly in my spirit that the prophetic declaration made by pastor was specially for you, 
The pastor just tried to generalize it. I want you to take note. All right, sir. God bless you. Can you see that the Spirit of God is one? The Spirit of God is one. We thank God for that. But do you know that everybody in the church heard him? But people can see and people cannot see. Elder, I cannot understand. Who are the people that cannot see? Sister Tanya, have you forgotten? We were so surrounded by clouds of witnesses. Therefore let us lay aside every weight and sin that can easily beset us and lets us patiently with endurance run the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus the author and the finisher of our faith. That is in Hebrew 12. Sister Tanya, it gladdens me to know that you are not just a praise leader, you are also a reader of the word. I thank God for grace sir, but Elder, what does clouds of witnesses has to do with prophetic declarations over my life? But the clouds of witnesses and the living awaits your manifestation as a child of God, therefore this generation cannot wait to see you fulfilling the content of the prophecy. Now I understand sir, may God help me. Amen, the Lord will help you. Amen. So don't lose hope. Yes sir. Don't lose grip on this word because those words has gone into your future like a seed, they will soon germinate. Amen. They will bring leaves and soon bear fruits in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me ask you, why do you think many prophecies don't come to pass? Lack of faith. And why do people lose faith in prophecy? Maybe when they don't get answers to their prayers on time. You are right, anyway two things can hinder prophecy fulfillment impatience and failure to fulfill your own part of the bargain. Truth to be told, when it comes to singing, Tanya is better than Samuel. Come on, we are not competing here. I know, but I think you will do better if you go to the city. You see this Tanya, I don't think she is ready to leave this village anytime soon. True, why not? I am ready as long as it is the will of God, I don't have to be in the city before I am fulfilled in the ministry. We are not talking about ministry here, we are only talking about changing of environment in search of exposures, jobs and career expansion. Whatever God says I should do I will do, job, husband, whatever he says I should do I will do it. No problem, now I know. Most churches in the city now pay their choir members. Is that a right doctrine? Singing is a ministry and it is meant to serve God. Ministries in the government have their own allocation, why serve God for free when you can do the same and still be earning money? After all it is said that after the pastor, the next is the choir, and the pastors are earning salary. Daddy Tanya. Mummy Tanya. So you mean that we should allow our daughter go to thee and start parading herself, dangling her God's given talent in churches for the highest bidder? How have others been doing it? You and I know that some of her choir mates who have left this village to the city are doing well. For example Samuel Elizabeth's brother, he just left this village last year December, and we are already seeing him on the television. With the name soundtrack or what is even the name? Soundtrack. So you know. That may be God's plan for him. My dear, remember our pastor prophesied on Tanya severally that her miracle is on the way. That is what they have been saying to tie her down in this village. They kept on saying that to make her a faithful servant in the choir. Daddy Tanya. Mummy Tanya. Fear God. What has the fear of God got to do with this? The same pastor that said she should remain in this village. His own two daughters are already married, Bridget has gotten married and left for the city. But that is where her husband lives. Okay, what about Beatrice? I know she still stays in this village, when last did you see her in the church? Remember her husband is a pastor, she cannot leave her husband's church and come to worship with us in our church. Who is your own daughter's husband? The pastor or an evangelist? Daddy. Will you shut up? We raise our daughter in the way of the Lord, and we instill the fear of God in her, I am begging you please don't let us be a stumbling blocks on her way in the will of God. I see, I have heard you. All she needs is encouragement from us, we need to encourage her and support her. Encouragement? Yes. I encourage you after spending so much on her education to the university level, at the age of 32, is it because she has a small stature? She still lives in my house, eat my food, no job, no husband, nothing, can you say I should keep encouraging her to be under my roof? Okay I encourage you, I encourage the both of you. I am not trying to encourage you to disobey your father, but assuming you have a job, it will reduce the pressure coming from your father. But mum, I have been looking for a job. I know. What else will I do? Please mum, 
Can I speak to you? Okay, it is about the CV I gave you ma. That's true, I am sorry, there was an opening in my office just last week. Wow, but I forgot about you. Hmm, alright do you have any copy of your CV with you? I have one here with me ma, I was planning to give it to one of our brothers but you can have it. You have a good grade, it shouldn't be hard to get you a good place. There she is. Brother Samuel. My AC. Our runaway choir master. I am still your choir master now. So you are in the village for the first time in this year, you didn't enter the church and you call yourself a choir master. Well, I came for an event. The church invited him for a program this morning. But then I was in church, I saw you leading the praise and worship and the whole building was shaking. Which whole building, you have started again, all to the glory of God, I didn't even see you in church. He left after the praise and worship. Okay. Yes that's true, I was just on my way from the event when I saw Sister Faith and Sister Esther, they told me the service was over. And you are back already? Yes we spent like two hours. Yes two hours, you should have seen the way my brother was welcomed, Sam is now a big star, Samuel Sam track. You are still brother Samuel. That is for you, we were on the stage for one hour and the building was shaking, it was electrifying. To God be the glory. We thank God, Tanya you should come to the city, I am sure you will get a very good offer there. I have told her about it but she's just here wasting her talent in this village. I am working on it. Please try, don't worry I will link you up, trust me, I will link you up. Thank you so much, I have to leave now. I wanted to get us something. My parents must be at home by now, I want to go and cook for them something to eat. Yeah, this is for transport. Thank you very much, bye. Tanya, Tanya. You like her, don't you? What do you mean? Everybody likes Tanya, so what do you mean? I know when my brother likes someone so much, not just today. What if I like her, what is the big deal? I am sure I can even take care of her, there is money to spend. Yes that is true. Wait, Sam Track and Tanya, the best gospel artists, the wedding is going to be the best. Girls shall we move? Two thousand dollars. Yes sir. The same Samuel that used to come here with his sister to drink cassava flakes. Samuel is now a big man. I was with him briefly in the church this morning. He gave our daughter two thousand dollars. Do you forget that our daughter came back home in a taxi, now I understand it was Samuel that paid for the transport fare. Mummy, how did you know? I was watching you through the window when the taxi dropped you. I have always known that that boy likes our daughter. Please Daddy Tanya, I beg you in the name of God, our daughter is not for sale. You will not allow one to talk, I told her to go to the city, she refused, yet no work, now a good boy has come from the city to take good care of our daughter. You did not appreciate him. That is not right, I do, I acknowledge him and I appreciate him, but my daughter will not marry Samuel or any other men for money. But dad, why are you putting the money inside your pocket? Oh, so you want your daughter to marry in poverty? God forbid, my God will chose the best for her. Tanya, may God chose the right one for you. Amen. Sister Tanya in the church choir, this is not acceptable. If anyone wants to invite the choir, I think the person should invite the church choir, and if it is Sister Tanya, then the invitation should be sent to her, I think Samuel has her number. Sister Tanya does not have a brand so she cannot go alone. Exactly my point, my point exactly, it is obvious brother Samuel does not need the choir members, all he wants is Sister Tanya. He only added the choir because he knows that Sister Tanya cannot do it alone. Why can't she? After all she has been going for events alone, elder's daughter's birthday, she was the only one invited to sing. What about mummy Victoria's daughter's wedding, was she not the only one they invited? Please let me explain what happened. Please hold on, you can't be a judge in your own case. At least give her a chance to defend herself. Who has accused her? Look at me, you may be jealous of her, that does not stop the fact that she is better than you in this choir. Please Sister Faith. No Tanya, let me tell them what they don't know. Please hold on let her insult me. I don't blame every one of you, I blame myself, Samuel only invited Tanya to his concert, where talent is appreciated. You mean our runaway choir master? 
Whatever you like call him, all I know is that, if you had half the opportunity you would have left the village by now. Faith, it is okay. Okay, all I know is that my brother has interest in Tanya leading the choir at his concert. Well done faithful sister-in-law, God will soon expose whatever it is between your brother and your friend. Excuse me, what is your problem? Are you jealous, I am out of here. Faith, Faith, me too. I am sorry everyone, I am really very sorry. No need, I am leaving too. Please, Brother Richard. Yes, they are like that, especially that Brother Richard, he is too troublesome, that is how he was always against Samuel when he was around. But I think they have a point, I am a member of the church choir, I don't have any band or group, why didn't he just write to the church choir? Firstly he wants the choir to sing the song The Joyful Noise, and he believes that you are in the best position to lead it. Secondly, he wants his boss to see you sing, probably he could just employ you. And with your growing reputation, you know you should actually have a brand by now. I will, if God says so. Sister thus sigheth the Lord, I knew it. Don't worry, I already called my brother and he promised to do something about it. Do what? He should do anything about it. I am going this way. Bye. See you later. You know what you guys did is not right. Forget about it. Lord, please talk to me. Don't be quite over my life at this point. What should I do about the invitation? It is a big platform. Is it your will for me to go? Is this an open door as the fulfillment of your promise for me? If yes, led me to pacify the aggrieved members of the church choir. Lord, please speak to me. I believe this is what the Lord is saying, that this month the prophecy pastor said is going to come to pass. It's also written in the book of Isaiah 60, that I Tanya shall rise and shine, for the light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon me. I will rise and shine. I will rise and shine in the name of Jesus. Amen. Daddy. My daughter, it is well. Amen. I know this is a very critical matter. I just want to encourage you that the Lord is with you. You should understand that Sam, it's you that he really needs in this concert. He wants to use it as an opportunity for you to be known, not really the church, if the church do not want to go, no problem. You can as well use the opportunity to start your own group, and by the time you inform Sam, he can give you another invitation. It will bear the name of your group instead of the church. Point. I just need to encourage you, I know that this is the opportunity you have been waiting for, for a very long time. And I believe that it is what the Lord wants to use to raise you. Don't worry it as well, let's us pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Who is at home, Tanya, Mummy Tanya? Welcome my husband. Thank you, I have something to show you, see it. My daughter is now a celebrity. A picture of my daughter and Sam track with other gospel musician, album launch. Where did you get this? The news is everywhere. My sister called me and she said she saw my daughter among the big gospel artists on the television. What is it? The publicity of the program is on the radio, television, newspaper, and even the internet. And my daughter's face is in all of these places. Yes of course, she is one of the special guests. May God bless Samuel for me. Wait where is Tanya? She should be inside her room, Tanya, Tanya. Tanya, Tanya. Yes sir, welcome sir. Thank you. You can have your seat. God has finally answered your prayers, here, look at this photo. Tanya, you don't look excited, have you seen it before? I have seen it before, Faith sent me the flyer last night. But you didn't show me. All this big artists are coming to Samuel's program. Yes. This boy is trying. His promoters are paying for everything. But Tanya, you don't look excited. What is the problem? I am seeking the face of God about this program. Are you sure that the enemies from your mother's house has not finally caught up with you? We don't have any enemy in my family. Then what hypnotize her? What has hypnotized her? She is seeking the face of God as if God's face is lost. You don't have to blame your father, we are all humans. I don't have any reason to blame anyone. You and I know that you have been searching for a job for a long time now, and there is no man showing interest in marrying you. I know mummy, I know. Now that God has shown us an open door, and it is even in line with the prophecy that we have over the years. That God is going to use your gift to promote you. I know but. Tanya, I have never been to the city, now that they are inviting you to come to the city, lodging you in a five-star hotel. 
And your pictures are already on the television, and your name is heard on radio every day. Tanya let me talk, I am still your mother. Okay. Tell me, are you afraid of the sudden success? Tell me that God has not given you the assurance to go to the city. I am not saying that God does not want me to go to the city, I mean my spirit is just quiet about it, I am a Christian and I know when the Holy Spirit is in agreement in this matter. So your spirit should be shouting. The spirit of God is meek and gentle, if you don't go you will disappoint that boy called Samuel. And I know that the boy likes you, very soon he will propose to you. Mummy. Don't ruin this opportunity my dear. Mummy. Samuel is not my husband. You said what? I have been praying to God for the will of God over my marriage, but God has not spoken about it yet, besides I don't even have such feelings for him. Tanya. Hello pastor, yes I will come to your office by the grace of God. Sister Tanya, I sent for you, Evangelist Chris has a word for you. Okay sir. You can go on Evangelist Chris. Yes, that's true Sister Tanya, the Lord is leading the evangelic team on an outreach to a neighboring village, it is going to be an open crusade. And we need the choir department on ground. An open crusade? Yes. Yes, that is the instruction that God gave to us. God has spoken to me about it even before he came to talk about it to me. The church council has not been officially informed, but by God's grace it is going to be on our top agenda for the next meeting. As the choir secretary who now doubles as the choir master, there will be a need for you to be informed on time, so that you can prepare in advance. I mean to aid your own preparation, while the church council deliberates on it, and also you will be the one to lead the choir at the crusade. Glory to God sir, what date is it? Evangelist Chris, what is the date again? June 24th to 26th sir. Okay sir, the Lord will help us, wait which month again sir? June. Pastor Sam track program is meant to be on the 26th of June. Oh that's is true, what are we going to do? What to do is simply, let the church choir accept Sam Track invitation in the city, the church choir should honor it. Any evangelical team and any members of the church that is willing should go and join the crusade, that is my suggestion. Willing church members you say? Yes, you can't force it on people. But Jesus made it a compulsory assignment to all believers, according to the book of Mark. Oh spare me that rubbish. So the word of God is rubbish. I never said the word of God is rubbish but what you are saying is rubbish. It is okay. It is not okay. My brother you can't hide. I am quoting the scripture here for crying out loud. You are not quoting it well. I am quoting the scripture. Elder, please what you are saying is not right. No, why are you always in support of women? Don't you have a wife at home? What is the meaning of what you are saying? What has what she said got to do with what you just said? She only quoted the scripture. Please let's calm down, please let's take Tanya's father's suggestion which is going to be laudable, although the cost implication for the two projects will be massive. Soundtrack invitation to the city has already taken care of itself financially, because brother Sam have sent $20,000 to the church. $20,000. As we all know, if any money comes into the church account today, I seated here is the church treasurer, I should be aware. No such money has entered the church's account. The money is with me, Brother Samson sent the money to my account on Tuesday and I plan to discuss it with every one of us here today. So Pastor, Sam gave the money to the church. I mean he donated the money to the church. Not really, actually the money was meant for the choir, some of us will know that Brother Sam who is our former choir master, is holding a concert in the city, in conjunction with the company abroad, he sent the money for transportation and other logistics. All right, Pastor, but this is very sensitive. All I will say is that we should not release the whole money to the choir. We should take part of it for the evangelism. I am afraid we might have to refund all the money. Why, sir? Why are we refunding? The reason is that after the required invitation for the concert, the choir is also needed in the crusade. But I discussed with you on that. I remember your suggestion very well, but the instructions is that the choir must be on ground to sing for the crusade. Sir, if the choir goes, is it not to sing? After all some members of the evangelical team also knows how to sing, they should be the one to sing. Moreover, in the Bible during King Jehoshaphat reign, the Bible recorded that the soldiers dropped their weapons and they became singers, they were singing. 
Why can't the evangelical team follow suit? They should just select some people among themselves and sing among themselves. It is as simple as that. Point of correction sir, during King Jehoshaphat's reign, the soldiers did not just drop their weapons and began to sing. The scripture says they appointed singers. Appointed singers. Yes. From where? I don't know. Pastor, if the mountain did not come to us, let us go to the mountain. The people in the city will not change their dates because of us. Let us change our own dates for them. No, God gave us those dates. Look, God gave us 365 days in a year and this is just 3 days. Other days are blessed too. Excuse me, elder. God told us how to do this and where. Evangelist, let us be smart about this. I'm skeptical about the location because we have not even covered the ground in this area. You are talking about another area. I am suggesting that we should hold the crusade close to the church so that by the time we have a new converts or harvest souls, they will join the church easily. And even God said that we should start from our own Jerusalem before going to Judea and other parts of the world. Youth president, you must have an understanding that evangelism is to win souls to the Ecclesiastes church, the church that Christ the bridegroom is coming to marry. Soul winning is not a congregational increase but an expansion of God's kingdom. Yes, I want us to know that we are all Christians and we are all elders in this church. I expect us to have grown beyond questioning the voice of God over any matter. Are we now saying that we are not hearing the voice of God or speaking the mind of God here? Pastor, it is obvious that the council is divided over this matter. I will suggest that we split the choirs into two. Good idea. With the splitting of the choir into two, I believe that it will settle both the crusade and the concert in the city. The youth should also shine their light before their day of evil comes. So you the elderly ones, your days of evil are here. That is what the Bible says. If we decide to split the choir into two, it's fine. Okay. Or does the instruction say it has to be the full choir? No, not really. Good. So which of the church team will be going with the church bus? It is obvious, those who are going to the concert in the city will go with the church bus because we are addressed by the way we dress. On the contrary, Since it was reported here that the money has been sent for the program in the city, enough money for transportation and logistics. Then let us use out of the money to get a bus for the church choir, while the evangelical team goes to the crusade ground with the church bus. For convenience's sake, after all, we should not forget that they are spending 3 days there. Yes, you are right. I think it is rational that the evangelical team go with the church bus. then we will arrange a very good bus to carry those who are going to the city i think with that we are good to go okay having settled all that let us now decide how much to be released for the choir please subscribe to this channel he has changed it he has sent the choir invite to the church secretary and he has booked hotel rooms for as many that will be attending he has sent money to pastor's account for our convenience transportation and logistics wow that's is great Sorry, but why didn't he send the money to the church? Maybe you should ask him. Excuse me, how much did he send to Sister Tanya? And how does that concern you? In fact, I am not sure the pastor will allow any of us to go. But why, Sister Tanya? Yes, sir. Concerning the city program, I want to counsel and advise you to be part of that program. I want you to attend that program, not only to attend but feature and participate fully in the program. You see, it is going to be an opportunity for you to use your God-given gift and the grace that God has bestowed unto your life. Okay, sir. I understand you, but pastor, have you prayed about it? Remember the revelation you told me about? Yes, I remember. But you know what? You can't remain in this local place and expect the whole world to know you. You see, I cannot specifically say that I have prayed about it. But the leading I am having in my spirit is that you should go so that the revelation will come to fulfillment going to the will be an avenue for that revelation to come to fulfillment Okay sir I think I myself will pray about it Yes I also want you to pray about it and be personally convinced I will pray about it thank you sir Let us pray I believe evangelism is the heartbeat of God and it should be our primary assignment as a child of God while the other assignments are secondary Hello, let me tell you, I have read my Bible from cover to cover. When all of us die and go to heaven, the only thing we will do there is singing. There is no evangelism, 
drama, going about or preaching, pastor I am sorry, but there is no pastor, there is nothing. It is only singing we will be doing, so there is no ministry better than singing ministry, so don't ever say it is secondary to any ministry. It is okay, there have been a lot of argument on which assignment is more important. Every assignment before God is important and it is number one. Really? Yes mummy. $30,000 just for logistics. Yes mum. That is to show you how far the boy has gone. And for me, he has sent $10,000. Are you sure it is $10,000 and not $1,000? Yes sir, I received the alert on my way home now sir. Let me see. Here sir. One, two, three, four, five, five zeros. Honey, let me see it. Check it. Yes, I have seen it. Tanya, Tanya, welcome to the city, Sister Tanya my daughter. Our daughter. I am going for the crusade. What? Evangelist Chris asked me to join him on the three days crusade on that same date. Wait, the same date that you are supposed to be in the city for the life-changing concert? Yes, sir. And you will be going for the crusade instead? I am still praying about it, sir. Okay, Tanya where is your debit card? It is with me, sir. Let me have it. Your debit card. Here, sir. Your pin is still 5,555, right? 7,777. Good. Daddy, hope it is not that you want to spend the money Sam Track sent, because I plan to send him back the money tomorrow morning. When you are not another man's child. Common Daddy Tanya. See, this money is the only reason, I will not curse you on the issue. As far as I am concerned, you've gone to the city, you've sing for them and this money now belongs to me as your manager. But daddy, I won't be going, I will have to refund the money. Go and tell him that or you look for the money. Daddy. I have spoken. Mum. Brethren, evangelism is a very big assignment that Jesus commissioned all his disciples and all Christians to carry out. If I should ask any of you now how many souls you have won this year? Probably none. Some of you see the evangelical crusade as part of the village. It is a divine assignment we cannot afford not to do, God has promised to move mightily through us, but the city assignment is one we have to consider. So the church council has decided to split the choir members into two groups, so who is going to the crusade for us? Me sir. Yes, brother Edward. Like everybody here knows that I am an evangelist, I go for evangelism every Saturday between 3 p.m. to 5 p.m., and God has been helping me. I do that before choir practice, and God has been helping me, sir, when the news came that we will be going to the city, I had taken it to God in prayer. I prayed to God for safe journey and for the power of God to move in our ministration, pastor don't you think that God will not see me as a serious person? If I change my prayer point for the crusade. So what you are saying is that you are not going to the crusade right? Sir, that is because the city invitation came first. All right, any other comments? Me, sir. Yes, Sister Rebecca, honestly, sir, I was not at the rehearsal when Sister Tanya told them about the crusade, I just heard it during the announcement on Sunday. And before that, my mother told me that I will be going to the city to collect something for her sister-in-law, I am even confused now. I don't know if I will be added to those who are going to city. Stop. She has only expressed herself. You see the mission field is a delicate place to go. It is a very difficult terrain. As long as God has promised to do great and mighty things through us in the crusade, I will not want to force anyone to go. But yet, we will not want any casualty on the battlefield, so those who want to go should indicate by raising up their hands or standing up. I will go sir. Tanya, but we have discussed this, and I have told you about my stand. Yes sir, you told me your stand, but you told me that you were not so sure about the whole matter. But I also told you to pray further on this. I prayed about it sir. But you are the one who is supposed to lead the choir in the city. You can also do it my sister, everybody can not go to the city, someone has to go to the village for the crusade. I will go too sir. Very good. Sir I wish to go but... Lord what is really happening? You spoke to me that you are about to showcase this daughter of yours and make her known to the whole world. The crusade, city program, 
I believe that the city program is a privilege and opportunity for her to be shown to the whole world. Am I actually getting you right? I must not mislead this lady. I want your will to come to pass over her life. Lord let your will be done, have your way Lord. Hello brother Samuel, I am sorry, I will refund your money. It is not about the money Talia, it is about you. How? I told my boss so many things about you, I confessed to him that you wrote some of the songs in my album for our church choir. You did that? Yes, that is why he sent $30,000 to you, which I shared between you and the choirs, and some people more than that. Wow, are they rich? Yes in fact, secular artists collect more than that, but Tanya that is not the point. So you mean the $20,000 you sent to Pastor was from my money? Yes, that means if you don't come you owe a record label company $30,000 not $10,000. Sam you ruined my life, how do I pay back? Don't worry since the choir will come, we will assume that you sent representative because you could not make it. That sounds like a relief. But that's what affect your integrity you may lose the opportunity of singing for the gospel record label, they're using this platform like an audition for you. I wish to come but I cannot come. Tanya. Sam. I will call you back. Mum. How many times did I call you? Once. But for a very long time. So you have concluded to miss this opportunity. But I have explained to you. Tanya, you see let me tell you something, your father worked as a teacher for 35 years, all his salaries put together for a year is not up to that amount. He has been praying, fasting and even fighting the government for his pension, even if he collects it, it is not up to that. You see how your father has been dancing around the house because of $10,000. As I was saying. No, you can continue to insult me, you were talking about my salary and pension did I say anything? Good morning sir. Yes, good morning, good afternoon and even good evening. Is it me you are talking about? The whole world has become something else. I am the one dancing because of $10,000, like I have never seen the money before. That is not what I meant. So this is not what you meant. Since you have been selling your $1 biscuit, have you ever made $10,000 before? No sir. With all your bad mouthing, have you been able to convince her to go? All you know how to do is to insult your husband of decades, I will deal with you later. And with you Tanya, if a company sent you $10,000 for interview, how much do you think they will pay you if you are a staff? But daddy. Shut up. Don't talk when I am talking. See, I have collected the money and there is nothing you can do about it. Oh and I gave your mummy $3,000 to boost her business. She did not tell you right. Mummy. She will not tell you. Can't you see the way she was catwalking in the market? She was buying everything in cartons. Even one of her customers confessed to me that this is the first time your mother will not buy on credit. But that is not what we are talking about. Shut up. You say your own, I say mine, don't even say anything. I have paid some of my debts with the money, and I can live on the rest for a while. My advice for you is to go to the city so that you can enjoy some money, if not, there is nothing I can do about it, alright. And you mummy Tanya, come and serve my food. You see Tanya, you better think about it, think. So sister Tanya, are you ready for the city now? I believe that you are fully ready to go and minister powerfully there. Sir, I have prayed about it and I am so convinced that the Lord is telling me to go for the crusade. Hmm. Father, now that you want me for the crusade, inspire me for songs for the assignment, songs that carries your power, songs that carries your mind. Songs that carries your presence Jesus, songs that will bless and comfort people, songs that will lead souls to you, as people will be hearing the songs. They will surrender their lives to you Jesus, without leaving anything behind, inspire me Jesus. Jesus, either new or old, what matters is the life of the vessel. Thank you Jesus. Raphael my son, this small thing you are looking at. It is a very powerful charm, as small as it is, it is very powerful. Whoever you apply it on suddenly becomes an imbecile, and the person will do your bidding. It works instantly, but it has a warning, you have to be careful so that you don't harm yourself, do you hear me? Thank you father. Do forget that it has a rule. 
Of course I know, salt must not touch it. Exactly. But father, I need to test the efficacy of this ring, how do I go about it? Test it on yourself. But you said it has no remedy. When you are asking me such a foolish question, Raphael go out there and use it for any unfortunate person, and you will see it power. People from this neighborhood, we are from the southern part of this village, we started an open air crusade yesterday. The crusade continues today, make sure you are there, because Jesus the miracle worker will also perform a miracle today. Dolly, are you not the one that I am talking to, what's the problem? What do you want? I love you. You love me but I don't love you. Dolly, Dolly. What? I need to run away. What happened to this girl between yesterday and today? I saw her yesterday and even gave her a mathematical set, what has happened to her between yesterday and now? Let me take her to our prayer group. Brethren, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We will now pray for this sister for the Lord to do mighty things in her life. Sister Tanya we need you to lead us with a song to deliverance. Lord, come and deliver me, Lord come and deliver me, Father come and deliver me, Jesus come and deliver me. Father in the mighty name of Jesus, I call upon you Lord, come and deliver this sister. Deliver her O Lord, let your mercy speak for her O Lord, have mercy Father, deliver her in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you Jesus. Thank Jesus for answering our prayers. Thank you Jesus. Father, Father. Raphael, what happened? The magic ring is on the table. Come to my rescue. I have tried all my power to rescue my son but to no avail. Though I told him that the charm has no cure, I kept the cure to myself. Even when I applied the cure it does not work, my son was not healed, the confraternity of the gods, shame is beckoning. Shame is beckoning if my son is not healed. Chief, what do you mean by that? My findings revealed that some set of Christians came to our neighborhood to have one program like that. They were the ones that healed the lady and the arrow bounced back to my son. And so? They said except the person who afflicted the lady shows up, my son will not recover. Chief, it is a lie. It is the elders who knows the conception of this matter, and it is the elders who knows its solution. We all know the process when a member finds it difficult to resolve an issue, we shall invoke the central confraternity power. And here today, we shall perform the ritual of day one, here. My leader, I chose plan B. What? 24 hours non-stop ritual performance. I did not plan this, in fact, the meeting is impromptu in the first place, no. Does that mean you doubt the efficacy option A? No. Do you think your child will die before the seventh day? Not at all, but they said they are rounding up the program tomorrow, and that if the person did not show up, no power on earth will be able to heal him again. So what you are saying is that if plan B fails, you will go to them? No, not at all. Then what is it? I think that is what he means. Common, what is even special about this your child that you don't want to let go? I don't understand him. My leader have you forgotten that my life is tied to him? Oh I see, that's true, come closer let us discuss. Madam I am ready. Oh the car is ready. Yes. You can pick those things that I am going with, it is on the dining table. Okay mom. Hello my son, how are you doing? I hope everything is set. Okay, we will take off in the next 20 minutes. Thank you, thank you, everything is fine, yes we are alive to see each other again, we thank God, okay, bye. I hope we did not forget anything for the city trip. No, everything is okay elder. Okay guys, let us be singing still we reach our destination. Good idea. Thank you Jesus, for everything you have done for me. Where is my baby, this is my baby, baby stop crying, your mummy is here. Madam. What is wrong with you? She has suddenly become mad. Hello, you can't believe we had a flat tire within the space of 10 minutes, I can't just imagine, I don't know where we are. I hope we won't be late, alright thank you, talk to you later. Why can't you fix your car before saying you will take us to the city? Don't you dare try me, how will I know that we are going to have a flat tire? Are you that careless, 
Why can't you check your car or bus whatever you call it before taking us along? See what you have got us into. Sir, don't let me get angry with you. You won't like it. I don't blame you. Nonsense. What are you guys just doing here? We are singing. Leave that now and come and help us push the car. Now. Sir, we can't do anything. What did I get myself into? Elder, thank you for coming. My regards to your family. Okay. Yes, as I was saying, I am really serious about what I am saying. I really need your help. I thought we have concluded in this matter. You know my stand. Come to think of it, I was the one that suggested this issue of crusade. I can't compromise it. Just take a good look at me. I am an evangelical person. I have strong passion for evangelism, and I can't compromise that. I know, you see why I called you woman rapper, and I am sorry about it, but on this issue, you have to help me, I need your help. Help you, how? Yes, this issue of the concert in the city, it is a big one, I want you to help me convince Samuel. That my daughter will still come and accept his proposal. Elder, I still don't understand. You see, it has everything to do with you, let me tell you the truth. The actual money on this concert in the city is not $20,000. It was actually $30,000. $30,000? Yes, $10,000 was actually sent to my daughter and it is with me. Okay. $20,000 was sent to the church and the choir. Okay. Actually it was my daughter that those people called Samuel to invite to the city. He only included the choir member for them to go with her. I still don't understand your point. My daughter does not want to go to the city, she wants to go to the crusade. But how does that got to do with me? Talk to your daughter instead. You know that one is over, but the only thing there is that I want you to help me go to the city and tell Samuel that my daughter is coming back. Although she may not come for this one, but she is coming later to accept the contract proposal. I don't want to believe that you are saying this. Are you saying I should not go for the crusade? The crusade I suggested, I should go to the city instead. It is just for one day, all I need is for you to go there and convince him and then come back. I am not interested. See, I told you that $10,000 of the money is with me. So what do you want me to do about that? I will give you $1,000 just for transportation to go there, it is for you to go to the city alone. If you are able to convince him and bring good report, then another $1,000 is waiting for you, to cap it all. If she eventually get called to the city to sign the contract, then I will give you $1,000. Elder, don't mix things together, I just want to get you right, you will give me $1,000 now. Give me your account number. Just for going to the city and the bus has already been arranged. Forget about bus or no bus, for you going to the city $1,000, if you bring back good report another one is waiting for you. If she eventually get called to sign the contract, Another one is waiting for you. For her to go to the city alone they gave her $30,000, if she eventually becomes their clients then the money will be far more greater than this, elder give me your account number. It is that same account. Okay, I will send it. Elder, it is just one day out of the three days right? Just convince him, I said the $10,000 that was given to her, is with me. If you go and come back with good report another one is waiting for you, you can take my word for it. Don't think I am doing this favor because of the $1,000 you want to send to me. You know my stand. You know I cannot compromise my stand. And you see, I can never be bought. I know. I am priceless. I can never be brought. You know that. You know even me as a Christian, I can't bribe. Sir. Can't you see that I am sweating? You just left only me there. Come and help me to adjust something under the car. Look, just leave me and go away. You can tell me to leave. If not we would not leave this place. It is only me. Do you want to kill me? Are you not the owner of the bus? Didn't you enter the bus also? Were you not in the bus when it developed fault? Don't just provoke me. Just go. What do you mean by that? You better come and help me out. I won't agree with you, come and help me out. Just go, I am coming. Just go and lay under the car. I said leave me alone. In Jesus name we have prayed. Amen. Brethren, 
The next song that we will be talking about now is the song we are going to sing tonight at the crusade. It is the song that we will sing solemnly, say it is a song that will deliver people. It is a song that will deliver people. I will take the first stanza while you all will take the chorus. One, two, three, let's go. Mummy, mummy, where did you say she ran to? This place, sir. You are the Lord, you are the Lord, you are the eyes I used to see, you are the key that opens the door, you are the owner of my soul. The bush that burneth but never consume, what shall I render to you, O Lord? I will bow down and worship your name, you are the Lord. Let us begin to pray for her, that every power, every arrow that was sent to her should be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Father every arrow sent to this woman be returned back to sender in Jesus' name. Mummy, mummy. Officer what is it? I want to see the papers of the car. Driver, where is the legal papers of the car? You guys are proving stubborn, I will show you now, all of you get out of the bus, now. Sir, I don't have the paper for the car, it expired two weeks ago. Why can't you renew it? I will have to take the car to the police station. This people are police. We can always settle this thing. Your driver's license has expired, and you put your bus on the road. It is just two weeks, I still have the grace of one month. What are you saying? Please settle them, they're just police. So you are saying I should give bribe? Sir, what is the meaning of bribe? Go and check my profile, I don't give bribe, I don't compromise my Christian faith, I am a man of God, I cannot give bribe. Just calm down. I cannot give bribe. Settle it yourself. It seems you are not serious about leaving here. Will you use your divine calling to drive? What are you saying? You better go and settle them. Thank you, Jesus. Mummy, what happened to you? Son, what am I doing here? Who are these people? I don't know them. What happened to you? You asked me to come to Lagos for that special program you organized. I was set to take off. I don't know what happened after then. Mummy, sorry. God, I thank you. Hello, sister. Where are you? We are coming. Okay, I have seen you. Sorry for the stress, all of you. Let us go to the hotel, so you freshen up and rest. Thank you, brother. It has been a very hectic day for us. I am sorry for the stress. I hope everybody are already sleeping. Sure, sure. Don't worry they should just sleep the hotel has been paid for, in fact the meal they will take tomorrow has been settled. Everything has been arranged just that the audition did not go as planned, my boss has travelled for an emergency case. His mum was sick so he took her to the northern part of the village. Northern part of the village. That was the village Tanya went to. Are you serious? Yes, I am serious. Same village that Tanya went to? Yes, for the program. Really I don't really know. Wow, that is interesting, check out this, this is my boss's page, Destiny has finally connected my boss with Tanya. Wow. Indeed God is a master planner. He is, see how he linked Tanya and your boss sharply. Come to think of it, it was under Tanya's ministration that my boss's mother received her healing, see my boss's mother has been healed. I am happy, wow, under Tanya's ministration, wow. Jesus, God is good. When God is talking, it is good to follow God, even when it is not making sense to men. It is good to follow God's instructions, indeed Tanya is a very anointed and I am sure she is going to go far and do more for God. This is just a stepping stone for her, I am so happy right now. We are the evangelical team for the southern side of this village, we are here for a three days mission outreach, which ends today. Actually, what happened is that my mother lost her sense and became insane just this morning, she was to leave this village to the special program I organized. And the concert, I had to hand over the program to my subordinates in city, because I cannot trade my mum for anything. We actually took her to a traditional herbalist, and when we're talking she escaped, I believe that was a divine arrangement God healed her here. Glory to God. But who is this sister? She is one of our choristers, in fact she is secretary to the choir. How I find myself in her presence I don't know, it is just by God's mercy. Wow, thank you so much my sister, God has used you to heal our wounds, honestly, I am also a Christian. But when I saw my mom, I lost all my Christian sense, 
and through you I have found it, thank you so much. Who am I? Let's thank God. Could this be the reason God did not allow you to go to the city for the concert? Obviously, I am sure it must be one of the reasons. Sorry for interrupting you. What is the name of the concert and who invited you? Gospel Talent and Discovery Show. Well, was it Sam Track that invited your choir? Sam Track? Well, you know him, sir. My God is unimaginable. I am the CEO of GTDS and I signed Samuel some times ago. He has been telling me about a lady in this village. How are you? We thank God. You can see what we have been telling you people. That no matter what God has proposed for a man, it will come to fulfillment. Now, Brother Samuel. Yes, sir. What you discussed with me, I want you to say it in her presence. First of all, I will like to say this, sir. What we are busy chasing around there, God has settled it without any stress. Exactly. It is always good to follow God's direction, and if a man misses his direction, he may end up in distraction. And about what I told you about Tanya, sir. Come and say it in her presence. Actually, sir. Greetings, Pastor. Greetings, Pastor. Thank you, Samuel, since everyone is here, please say it in her presence. Okay, sir. Greetings, everybody. Thank you, now that everyone is here, Brother Samuel, you can continue. Sister Tanya, I have been praying about both of us, and I have this special interest in you, and I have come to a conclusion, that I want you to be my partner for life, I want to marry you. Sister Tanya, won't you say something? Won't you respond? Thank you very much everyone, actually I have prayed about it, and the Lord told me the same thing. Wow. And now that the promises of God upon my life has come to pass, I return all glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Congratulations, my dear. Congratulations, my husband. Congratulations, my daughter. Thank you, sir. This is my daughter. We gave birth to her together. Congratulations, my son. Thank you, sir. Today's channel shout out is to Cassandra, Angel, Patricia, Kareen, Lee Blake and Cynthia from Jamaica. Meekness from Zambia, Larito, Rose, Bassi, Kara, Makamu and Tess from South Africa. Jennifer from Nigeria, Tracy, Chloe, Tabitha, Sana, Kelly, Pamela, McLean, Jackie, Shelley, Carline, Cayman and Precious from USA. Yura, Princess and Erica from Ghana. Vera from France, Elizabeth from Portugal, Fina from Austria, Edith, Jacqueline, Ruth and Charles from Uganda. Joyce, Lydia Julius, Esther, Maggie, Matthew, Treza and Rebecca from Kenya. Tess Downer from South America. Matthew from China. Jean from Canada. Audrey from Bahamas. Priya from India. Sion from Ethiopia. Debbie and Mary for Saudi Arabia. Patricia John, Miguel, Jaden and Everard James from Saint. Lucia, drop your name and where you are watching from in the comment section to get a shout out from this channel. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to be notified when another video is being posted.